So today I'm going to be explaining a few simple things you can do to your PC's RAM in order to boost performance and get the most FPS possible so you can have super smooth gameplay in any game like Fortnite for example. The first thing to do guys is to find out exactly how many sticks of RAM your PC has actually got. To find this out it's very simple, just head over to your desktop like this on screen and simply open up your task manager by pressing Control, Shift and Escape at the same time. This should then of course open your task manager. Inside of here here, click on the performance option at the top row then select the memory tab on the left hand side and inside of here guys at the bottom right corner you should see a section that says slots used this is how many slots of ram your pc has got or is rather using inside of here it should say either two out of four slots or four out of four slots as it can be very very beneficial to have evenly paired ram sticks as again if your pc has two out of four or four out of four this will make your pc run in dual memory mode which will boost your fps what will not boost your FPS for and will actually decrease performance from what I've read online is having odd RAM sticks such as single memory like 1 out of 4 slots or 3 out of 4 slots. What this will do guys is it will make your PC run in single channel memory which will reduce your FPS again from what I've read online. So if that being the case guys it's really important that if you do have single channel memory so again 1 out of 4 slots or 3 out of 4 slots you should definitely add either one of a RAM stick or two of a RAM sticks to make either 2 out of 4 or 4 out of 4. Overall you should be having the exact RAM configuration I've got on screen right here. So again either 2 out of 4 or 4 out of 4 will work great. If you guys are in a situation where again you need to add more RAM sticks to find out exactly what RAM sticks matches your current RAM sticks, all you have to do guys is open up your PC case, refer to the manual, it'll say exactly how to do this, and then you want to find where the RAM is and simply pull out a RAM stick very carefully again, read the manual, and once you're looking at your exact RAM sticks, you want to look for any sort of information, so the model number, the size, the type, the speed of RAM, just all the information, you want to get that and search it into Google or Amazon, and you want to find the exact matching RAM sticks so that you need, either one or either two. To. When installing the RAM or rather any RAM, it's very important that you guys make sure that you've correctly placed the RAM sticks into the motherboard as there's a specific way to do it. For most people out there who are new to building PCs, they simply just insert the RAM sticks in like the 1-2 configuration. So they put the first RAM stick in the first slot and then the second RAM stick in the second slot, like right next to each other in 1 and in 2 just like this. But this is completely wrong and the incorrect way of doing it. The correct way of doing this and actually the most optimal way for like 99% of motherboards is to actually leave the first slot, that slot 1, empty, then put a RAM in the second slot, then leave the third slot completely empty as well, and then put another one in the fourth slot. What this does is it makes a space in between them, and this will give you dual memory. If you put the RAM in the incorrect way that I've just mentioned earlier, what this will do is it'll give you single channel memory, which will decrease your FPS more so than it would with dual memory. Again, to get dual memory, just make sure you insert the RAM sticks in this configuration on screen, so you want to have the first slot empty, the second slot with one stick of RAM, the third slot empty, and then the fourth slot with the second stick of RAM, just like this configuration on screen right here. Like I mentioned before, this is not only the best dual memory configuration, but it's actually the most optimal one for like 99% of motherboards out there. Just take a look at your motherboards manual, and you will see that under the RAM section, this is the best configuration for dual memory. And boom, you'll get dual channel memory, which will boost your FPS. And if you guys want to go the extra mile and add in a total of four sticks of RAM, you can literally just put these sticks in any configuration, just as long as they're all in there and you will be all good to go. Moving on to overclocking our RAM, this is finally the best way to improve performance specifically with the RAM in itself, as what we're going to do is we're going to be using the XMP option, or rather the extreme memory profile, to easily overclock our RAM, which will result in far better performance than it would so with factory default RAM settings so let's go ahead and overclock our ram and yes before we do start guys it is generally safe and should not damage your ram in any way just as long as you check that your motherboard actually does support xmp and is overclockable to find out so just head over to your exact motherboard's manufacturer's website and it should say something like this again on screen which is oc which equals overclock as well as xmp support like mine does on screen right here then once you've all found out that your ram is good to be overclockable just head over to your desktop 
laptop and simply restart your PC at the bottom left corner. A black screen should then appear and then your motherboard sort of logo should appear that should say something like uh, press F2 to enter the BIOS as mine does right here. Just go ahead and press that button and then you should see your BIOS screen appear. Now yours may look different to mine, it's all good, it just depends on what uh, manufacturer of motherboard you've got. Mine right here is Asus, so it obviously looks like this but they're all pretty similar. I know it may look scary at first guys, which if you do think this looks scary and it's a bit too much for you, what I recommend is entering an easy mode option if your motherboard supports it. As you can see with ASOS, mine does right here, all I have to do is click or press that button right there and I will now enter the easy mode. And as you can see guys, this is way more simplified and just easy. As you can see, my RAM is right there, you can see the sticks and you can also see the speeds on them at default. And underneath that guys, you can see right there, we've got the XMP option. Just go ahead guys, click on that option and enable it and then boom, just like that, we have now enabled the XMP option which has overclocked our RAM which will increase its speeds from the default which looks like this right here as you can see it's not that great that's just the default but now we've got these extra speeds on screen and you can see they're way higher and just way better which will improve our performance now you guys can go ahead and exit the BIOS make sure to save the um, settings that we've just made to obviously enable in the XMP option and now guys if you open up Fortnite and head into game you should notice that you've got higher FPS your game should be a lot more smoother it should feel better and overall your PC should be faster as well as with us increasing the speeds of our RAM you'll notice everything just being way quicker than it was before but primarily for gaming it works great and I highly recommend that if you can again enable the XMP option for your RAM guys you definitely do it like trust me you will get a huge FPS boost and your PC overall again will just be way faster than it was before just make sure that you've got your RAM set up in this configuration because it's the best configuration and the most optimal one for 99 percent of motherboards out there also if you need any help any additional steps if you get stuck on something or you don't know how something works feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and if this video did overall help you out and let's say if it did boost your fps which it definitely should please be sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop if you buy any of these amazing skins on screen right here or if you pick up the brand new battle pass which also has a ton of epic skins in it that helped me out a ton i'll catch you all in the next video thanks for watching Peace.